I think that Warzone 2 has a few problems, most notably with bullet damage and armor plates. And I've got some real examples of inconsistency in this video to show you and hopefully prove that there's something going on here. I started looking more into this after a few strange experiences I had in the game. The first one was this clip here. Pay attention to how quickly I'm killed while wearing a maxed out three plate armor vest. Right here, I'm gonna nade the door and then stun and then push. Let's go. You got, what? How did I die so fast? There's no way. What the hell, what gun was that? M4? Dude, I was fully, I was fully plated. I did not expect to die so quick then. What the hell? You can hear from my reaction that it felt unusual to die that quickly from a ground loot M4. And quite a few people in the comments also noted that occasionally they had also experienced deaths like this. I could chalk it up to aim assist and lag or something like that. Maybe it was just all headshots and the kill cam was bugged, but based on other experiences I've had and the clips that I'm about to show you and testing that I've done, I'm more convinced now that there might be a real problem with damage in the game code. Just a note though that this is purely observational. I don't want this to come across like I'm moaning about dying. I don't care, it's a battle royale game. You die, you lose games, that's whatever. But what I do care about is when the experience as a whole can vary so much. I think that's really important for the player experience in a popular PvP game. It's not just the time to kill, but also the time to death that has to be considered here. So let's take a look at the next clip. Once again, wearing a purple level three vest with three plates in it, watch carefully. So there I was one hit killed by an XMR sniper rifle, which technically shouldn't be possible. Next clip, this was at the end of an intense duos game. This one hurts to watch because it feels like I'd won the fight. But then let's take a look at what happens and pay attention. So the guy kills me when I had two plates on in two hits and I can see that the player didn't have the muzzle attachment on that improves melee damage. They had a suppressor equipped. So what happened there shouldn't be possible. Now, rather than just present these clips to you and ask you to come up with an explanation, I wanted to test this for myself in a real match of Warzone in an attempt to recreate what happened. So I asked my friend Hads if he would help me. He agreed. And first we had to get in the same solo match together. This is more difficult than you'd think, but after enough 3 2 one start matchmaking attempts, we did get in a few games together. First up, that one hit kill XMR clip. Now, before you say it, I have seen and tested the supposed one hit kill XMR build with the different bullet types, and we're gonna go over that in a second. Okay, so here, ground loot XMR, Hads is wearing three plates. Does this kill him in one headshot hit? As you can see, no, it doesn't. But what if it was a custom build that I'd made myself that I could purchase at a buy station? So I went ahead and built three different XMR builds. The absolute meta, longest range, longest damage with the tuning that people say is a one hit kill. I made one with high velocity rounds, one with explosive rounds and one with incendiary rounds. So high velocity XMR, is that a one hit kill? No, it isn't. High explosive XMR, is that a one hit kill? No, it isn't. Incendiary XMR, is that a one hit kill? No, it isn't. And yet this happened to me a few games earlier. How on earth does that make any sense? I literally can't replicate what happened in that clip in a real match. Downed in one hit, wearing three plates. You can see in the kill cam that there's no one else shooting at me. I get hit once and then not. Also just a note, because I know that people will ask, in none of these clips do we have any perks on? That means that EOD is irrelevant here. I realize that some people have theorized, it's never been tested, that EOD protects you from explosive ammo, but we don't have any perks on here, that isn't a factor. Also, just for your info, they nerfed armor piercing ammo in an update on November 22nd to make it not do any extra damage to armored opponents. So it's not that that's causing a one hit kill either. Let's move on and take a look at the melee clip again. I'm gonna really slow this down so we can get into the nitty gritty of it. I'm swimming away to the safe zone. There's a player in the water behind me. I equip two plates as that's all I have. I shoot the enemy player in the head. 
break their armor, continue to shoot, get no hit registration, and then I'm killed in two melee hits. So watch the health bar. First hit takes me down to like 20% remaining in plate one. Second hit happens now, removes that plate completely, and all of my health therefore knocking me down. Now let's watch the kill cam. First hit, and we'll go frame by frame here. Second hit knocks me. I realized that kill cams can be inconsistent, but seeing as my client also displayed two hits, I'm led to believe that that's how many times I was hit with melee. Now let's take a look at the attachments on the gun here, the Vaznev 9K. From what I can tell, this is the build that Ronnie Cruz 97 was running here. The important part though is the muzzle, because there are two attachments for this gun that can increase your melee damage. This one, the XRK Knockout Breach, and this one, the TA HUL Breach. But Ronnie Cruz 97 clearly didn't have either of those attachments on the gun that two hit melee killed me. Ronnie Cruz 97 had a suppressor on and none of the suppressors increase melee damage if we look through them one by one. And there are no other attachments for this gun that increase melee damage either and there aren't any perks in the game that do that too. So let's test and this is where it starts to get weird. I built the same gun, loaded into a real match with Hads, bought the gun at a buy station, met up with him and dropped the gun. And then I made sure that I had a three plate vest with two plates in, like in the real clip. And in most of the testing that we did, which you're seeing here, two hits from melee will not kill me. We tried doing it fast, we tried doing it slow, we tried aiming at the head, etc. Even I tried it on Hads. It didn't kill him and it didn't kill me until this happened. Why has that killed me? Why has that killed you? That was two hits. One, two, two hits. Okay, so at least we've replicated it now. As you saw, that was in fact a two hit melee kill. It's the same as what happened in the real clip, but why? Why that one? It doesn't make any sense that 99% of two melee hits with two plates wouldn't kill you. And all of a sudden it randomly does. And this is part of the problem. This isn't readable or predictable. And in this case, I think the damage is bugged or there's a possibility that there's some kind of unwritten, unspoken critical hit chance with melee hits. I've never heard anything about that before, but hey, maybe that's a mechanic in the game that no one knows about, no one's talked about. And if that is the case, then at least it's good to know that now. Wrapping things up, this is just three of my experiences in the game where something fell off. And I hope at least that I've proven inconsistency with damage in the game with this video in the testing and the clips that I've shown you. Inconsistency is the key word here because it leads to surprising and frustrating gameplay experiences for the player base when the time to kill and time to death feels like it varies so much from match to match. In conclusion, if there is a damage bug in this game, again, I don't know for certain, whether that's from the server not thinking that you're wearing plates or loaded damage because of the tick rate of the servers, melee hits doubling up sometimes when they shouldn't, might just be bug blueprints, bug ground loot, but hopefully this can help shed some light on it and the developers can maybe take a look at this, put it on a sticky note somewhere, because as I mentioned, it's difficult to test and I'm not the only person that has had these experiences. There are plenty of threads on Reddit, YouTube and Twitch clips that display similar scenarios to what I'm showing here. I could be completely wrong about this too. I'd hold my hands up if I was. My gut feeling though from my play sessions says that there is something bugged here. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you've had any similar weird deaths or kills like I've shown in this video, send me the links on Twitter at JackFrags and I'll take a look. And with that said, that is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the vid, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe if you're new. Look after yourselves, look after each other. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.